remember I was like this age. Because you go into shock pretty fast. Yeah. Right? And uh, and I remember going like, well, I just got in that back there. Yeah. yeah. Oh, there you go. So to do the sign in thing, for us to be somebody up there. Yeah. We had to. We had two. Oh, no, I was for it. So I've never been on one, so my million dollar question is how close do we get to shore? Do I wear Crocs and roll up my pants or tie my boots on? Where are your Crocs? Okay. <laughs> you can just toss this thing on the float. It's no big deal if it bangs around. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> First bull hunter I took for sheep on the very second day of the Stumbled into a tree and snapped the sights off his bow. No, no way. way. And uh, so on the next day, I said, You want to take some time to put the sights on? And it's fine. Let's go take a look around. I'll hunt with a rifle today. Nice. We got 12 yards from his ram. Oh, so. uh, no. <laughs> Mountain Goat, British Columbia. Cradle number one. Making all the bridge get across. 100% cross. Um, so far we've been hiking for probably about a half hour, but sweat's pouring, the bugs are out. So we got about a five hour hike. But yeah, we're just gonna keep trucking along and take our time, truck through his, and we'll make it out. How you doing, dude? Yeah, me too. Glad we're suffering together. Finally broke tree line, boys. Been a, been a day, man. Well, we finally broke the tree line. It was a fucking grind. We're still not at the top. We got a ways to go. Danny's dying. Kyle's dying. I'm fucking dying. I'm old. But uh, we did glass up some goats over on this mountain over here. I'm not sure if they're even in range because we're not at the top yet, but I don't know, it's promising anyway. We're out of the trees now, so get up there and get some water and then either set up camp or figure out where to set up camp based on the time, so. Well, we made it about three quarters of the way up. We didn't get to the point we wanted to because kept losing the trail, blow down bushes. It just wasn't going as planned. So we just took a break a bunch of times and it decided to take it slow and stop at the first water source. And uh, there's water about 100, about 100 and uh, I think 100 and something yards down. So they're gonna get water. And I just set up the tent for us. Our plan tomorrow is we're gonna break camp, 
get our bearings. Um, there's a drainage coming down over with water, so we're gonna try to find where that roughly is up top. Next day on the 31st, we have a thunderstorm coming in. So we're gonna have to secure this thing a lot more and just uh, hope for the best. So we just broke camp, it's morning two. Uh, yesterday, we only made it about halfway up the mountain. We have what's behind me left, so we're still gonna make it up there, which is gonna be a hell of a day. Um, we got a bit of a timeline today though, because we have some rain coming in. Tomorrow's supposed to be heavy rain, and the next day's supposed to be not much better, but after that, it gets uh, significantly better. So we're gonna get going, start this day, big push. So let's do it. Running away, headed for the top bridge. Who's gonna lift that boat? <laughs> they don't know me, son. <laughs> they don't know me. Right against me, man. <sighs> Whew. Well, we broke over to the first saddle here and hit our first kind of flat patch. I'm gonna keep motoring though. I wanna find a good spot to camp with some water. So our next point that we're gonna shoot for is right there. See what that shows up there. Have a look. up here got this beautiful basin got some access uh, to some other basins via this saddle here now we just found a spot for camp we're all collecting rocks putting around the perimeter to try to keep the lip down so we don't have any mosquitoes coming in underneath like they did last night got a big storm coming tonight we're gonna sit it out for a couple days and then we're gonna work our way to that far ridge and hunt we, uh, we got camp set up early because we have a storm rolling in. It went from super hot to now we got overcast and cloud. So, and the wind's picking up just a matter of time. Kyle and I are about to get some water. And uh, Danny's just gonna tend to the camp. More bones? More bones. Had a shed? Yeah. She's pretty trashed. Look like an old one though. Yeah. Might as well be a piece of firewood now. We just come from below that peak there. Coming down in here. Get water. We're gonna fill everything up so we don't have to do any trips in the in the rain. Oh, it's nice and clean. finally summited the entire mountain. It didn't take us as long as we thought it would. It actually, uh, I'd say under four hours when we were at the top. Um, so now that we're at the top, we have to figure out kind of what our game plan is. The next two days, it's supposed to rain. It's supposed to rain nonstop tomorrow, and then just basically let up the next day and then be sunny and fine after that. So we had to make sure when we get to camp, we were prepared for that. So 
I think we have like 23 liters of water. We have rocks lined around the whole outside of the tent. Um, so we're ready in case the wind picks up. So far we spotted one goat just over here. It's a stomper billy, it's, he's by himself. We would definitely have to lose a lot of elevation and go to a different valley to get at him. So there's that. Um, but it's only day two. Um, hunting season doesn't even open up until two more days from now. So we have lots of time. Uh, basically we're gonna be riding under the storm for two days. So probably a little bit of tent time, but pretty beautiful place. Took a while to get up here, but we made it. <coughs> well, we had high hopes for today. It was really hoping it's gonna be sunny and clear skies. We could go out and scout. It's one day before the opener, but We got rain tomorrow, and then we have two days of no rain, and then we're back to uh, rain again for a day or two. That's as far as I can see in the forecast, so. August 1st, opening day here. Yeah. We're just kind of up, putting around camp, having some coffee. Morning. Morning, gents. Morning, guys. How's it feel to get out of the tent? It feels so good to stand. <laughs> it feels weird to be upright. <laughs> yeah, I was stuck in the tent for a couple days. It was Oh, it definitely sucks sitting there, sleeping all day. So yeah, wait for this fog to burn off and we'll be hunting. That'll kill a goat. Ow, hit the little bear I wanted to. Well, here we are midday on the opener, still waiting on this fog to lift, just not lifting. Way better than it was this morning, but the bull that we want to hunt, it's a massive bull with tons of fingers and stuff coming out of it. You just can't see down it. Seems like the fog initially was coming up and out of it and then blowing away, but now it's starting to filter back in. Fuck, Jim, you can see the other side. No way. Yeah. It's a freaking big bull right there. Got it down. Sleeping. Jim's here. He's going to do the backup. Well, we're in the waiting game. My goat's having a nap, as you can see. And I'm waiting on Kyle. He's making a stop with his bow to see if he can get in close enough. I don't know how close he's going to be able to actually get because it's quite uh, quite green when it's been raining like cats and dogs. So that grass is going to be very slippery. But he's going to give it a try. He might find a way down, but we can't see. But we have the word that if that goat stands up, like it's going to take off take the shot or if we get a uh, in reach message that he can't get down take the shot there's mr goat all right we've been here now for about 45 minutes waiting on kyle he's trying to make his way down that uh, that grass hill over there billy's been laying down putting his head down and looking downhill all the time jim's over there waiting patiently to see if uh if kyle gets down for the shot or if the goat stands up meaning that uh, he knows Kyle's coming. And then that's Jim's cue to take the shot. It's a really nice goat. I think it's gonna happen here. What's the word? You can get down a bit, but it's gonna pinch you out and you're just screwed in. If he, if he stones it and it stays there, It'll that goat's unretrievable. That was a hit. He's either going to go down or he's going to come up the other side. Well, we've had a huge turn of events on day one. Uh, I got my first billy. Super nice billy. Uh, couldn't be more proud. Shot was 300. I did a follow-up shot after that. But he's in a really rough spot. Um, so I'm going to hit the road here. But uh, fog's coming in hard. So i got to get out of here while it's safe. I'm going to take a quick video before I get out of here. I forgot to have my phone even. But uh, bases. Not even quite the top, and that's stretched all the way out. Both horns, good shape. Got a nasty cut under there from his fall. Probably about eight inches long. Right next to a creek. Kyle, you're gonna appreciate that, running water. But uh, that part kind of sucks. 
So I'm gonna get out of here as soon as I can, but Danny, I love you. Thanks for the hunter host. Kyle, I love you too. Thanks for passing this goat to me, man. I really appreciate that. Well, I'm almost back at camp. After shooting that billy, man, I got cliffed out. What a mistake that was. Holy. A couple times I was scared, and a couple times I accepted uh, having to spend the night in the mountain. I was never gonna press my SOS button because it wasn't nothing they could do, but I did accept sleeping on the mountain a few times. And holy fuck, you should see the stuff I climbed up. Oh, like I'm pretty good with heights and stuff. That was scary. Probably the scariest situation I've ever put myself in. And uh, my friends too. I shouldn't have put myself in that situation. Anyway. I'm back. I got a huge belly. My first belly. Man, three years. Three years today. Opener. I've been chasing billies. And actually, Billy is my number one animal for the longest time. And I finally got him on opener 2023. I don't know how big he is. I don't care. It's a nice belly. Let's go see how the boys are doing. Holy fuck. We've been messaging. Well, it's been about a couple of hours now since I've been back in camp after uh, being stranded on the mountain there after harvesting that billy, but the boys are out doing some glassing. Uh, my billy is just on the side of the mountain right now. Uh, tomorrow we're gonna go deal with it. It's in a pretty sketchy spot in this kind of weather for sure. Uh, tomorrow, if it's nice out, probably not as bad, but uh, regardless, it'll be a haul. So all my stuff is soaked. Um, currently wearing Kyle's shirt right now. Made a little clothesline, a couple hiking poles. Got to dry everything out. Like I was soaked inside of that mountain. All right, I'm working my way over to this far edge. I hunked in that tent majority of the day. It's like 12 o'clock and there's all freaking day, all night. The rain has been horrible. Finally stopped. The boys are actually been waiting to go down and try to get that goat. Jim was at it last night, had to come home because he was getting fogged in. It was a little bit sketchy there for a bit. So I'm gonna go down up to this ridge and have a look over where I saw this goat with Kyle yesterday. I fucking hate it, man. <laughs> Thanks. Sketchy shit. Like, yeah. I'm not even moving. The rocks are just going. Why are we here, Jeff? There's a goat down there, I think. Pick him up. Oh, yeah. 
Beautiful, hey? Oh. Five, six, maybe more. He's not that big at all, like body wise. No. Good job, buddy. Thanks, man. Proud of you. We got ourselves into a spot here. Not sure. Not doing anything while it's raining though. Have to sit this out for a bit. But we're not going back up, I know that. Can't get up that waterfall. Have to see what happens. just finished cutting up this goat. Uh, we're gonna drop down this drainage, take that creek out, and then loop around back to camp. Well, we're making our way out. Kyle's right there behind me. So it's August 3rd, uh, the morning after we got the goat back. We spent uh, six hours getting the goat back yesterday. Um, it was quite the journey Kyle and I went through. Uh, it looks like today's gonna be a beautiful day. So uh, we got kind of soaked yesterday. So we got all our stuff out here drying out again. And uh, we're getting some coffees in us and uh, we're gonna work on this goat a bit. Kyle's already got a good start to it. He's over there working on it now. I got uh, two 500 ml bottles full of salt. That's the first one I used. Heavy salt in the face, lips, ears. But uh, now we're gonna put a sill tarp on it. And uh, then we're gonna go hunting. There's a Wolverine. Top of the world here. It's pretty awesome. Turned up a couple more goats today, but uh, still just looking for the right one in the right spot. Right spot's the hardest thing, especially when you're bow hunting. Not only do you have to shoot, but you have to recover. It's pretty cool up here though. This is from the summit. This is the lake we're flowing on. Our camp is right there. This is literally on top of the mountain. It's just a, a pool of water. You can see it's actually running. Yeah. She's coming. That's a big one. It's messed up weather. Trying to get back before we get too soaked. All 
All right, morning from camp. It's uh, day seven. on that point. No, I gotta go. All right, so the meat's all done. I just gotta button everything up and then I'm gonna put rocks on top of it and bury it in the snow. So here's what we have so far. Meat's been deboned, cleaned up, and uh, made this makeshift cooler. Now it's in the snow there. And now I'm gonna head back to camp and then go meet up with the boys. They're hunting those goats. Kyle and I found down the ridge over there earlier. So this is one of the goats we were chasing yesterday. Can you see him there? There's just no way for us to even get back into there. Pretty sketchy country. All right, we're coming to recover this meat that uh, I built a little cooler for in the snow yesterday. See how it held up. We're gonna pack out today, so I gotta load it up in the pack. The snow melted a bit, but it all would have held its temperature all night. So we're pulling out this morning. Uh, plane's coming to pick us up at 2 p.m. It took us about 10 hours and two days to get up here. So we got a mile to make, but we're all downhill. We all got loaded packs, so It'd be a heavy one, but uh, trip's coming to an end. Plane's coming to get us at two. Good fun. Lake's way down there, and we got a mile to make. So let's get at it, boys. It's been a slice. Coming out heavy on our backs. He's going to carry that goat, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> coming out heavy. Making our way down to the lake. Plan picks us up at two. Making good time. I think we're about a half hour in and we're cruising. But uh, it's been a good trip. Experienced a lot of things on these goat hunts or these mountain trips in general that you don't typically get to experience. And uh, some good, some bad. But the takeaways are always good. Man, I got cliffed out. What a mistake that was. Holy. And, uh, you always come back out of these trips with a little more of yourself than you left with. And uh, for me, this was a three-year journey. 
trying to get the goat that I got in my back right now. Let me tell you, over the last three years, it's been one hell of a journey. But we got it done. And now we're on our way to the lake. Ice cold beers are waiting at the camp. And uh, we'll be back soon. Looking forward to this. Stay on that big log. Make sure your poles touch. How's that flatboard? Um, don't try and step as f close to shore as you can on it. Obviously, it's in the middle, so it'll sink right away. So where are you stepping? As far forward as you can on that board. Yeah. Boom! Suck on these nuts. Back all the way to these. No fuck up hips. <laughs> well, that's a wrap. We made it back down to the lake. Um, we left main camp this morning at about 7 a.m. But uh, we're all back down. Everything's on the beach, ready for the pilot. Danny's getting some fishing in. Fighting Danny. Kyle's hand or your hand in the water? Why? He's on dose. I don't know. I'm just I'm used to it now. <laughs> <laughs>